Hello everyone. The topic of this video is going to be Varg V. Kearney's and his uh, obsession with uh, genetics and his falsification of uh, the genetic history of uh, many great ancient civilizations such as the ancient Egyptians, the ancient, uh, you know, the ancient Iranians, specifically the ancient Persians. This video will specifically deal with the ancient Persians and Varg's insistence that the ancient Persians were Nordics. This is not true, as all genetic evidence has proven there to be 90 to 95 percent genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age. But this video will just take a look at one white nationalist who has constantly claimed that Iranians are significantly admixed with Arabs, which is definitely not true. Iranians are not mixed with Arabs at all. There's only 1 to 4 or 5 percent admixture in Iranians from the Arabian Peninsula at the most and this has been evidenced by all of my recent calculations and uh, the Arab admixture in Iran of course is limited and the reason for this is that Arab settlement in Iran never exceeded more than 50,000 people while war claims that uh, believes that rather a million Arabs marched into the Arabian Peninsula or rather the Iranian uh, heartland and just settled there. So a million Arabs from the Arabian Peninsula marched into the Iranian heartland and settled there. This is not true as all genetic evidence has debunked this old notion and all even all historical evidence has proven that there is not much admixture from the Arabs in Iran at all. What Warg fails to realize is that Iran was already inhabited by uh, native uh, populations uh, prior to the arrival of uh, the uh, Aryans into Iran and these Aryans were not Nordics. They may have resembled Nordics because of their high step admixture which is Nordic admixture you can consider it but nonetheless these early Aryans had around 34 to 40 percent Neolithic Iranian admixture on average and this Neolithic Iranian admixture is the native admixture found in the majority of today's Iranians as well as the Eastern Iranics and this Neolithic Iranian admixture is distinct from uh, Europe your, the admixture harbored by Europeans which is a native European farmer ancestry. This native European farmer ancestry is very distinct from the Iranian farmer ancestry harbored by Iranian uh, Iranians. This native European farmer ancestry is originated in actually originated in Anatolia during the Neolithic and from Anatolia these Neolithic mig farmers migrated into Europe and they established them themselves there until the arrival of the uh, Indo-Europeans from the Pontic Caspian steppe. Now only the eastern branch of the Indo-Europeans can be considered Aryans and this is another falsification on Warg's part who has constantly claimed that all ancient uh, Indo-European peoples were Aryans. This is not true. Only the eastern branch of the Indo-Europeans are, are Aryans and these Aryans were har already hybridized with the native Iranian farmer element in the BMAC horizon which they entered during the prior to rather which they entered prior to entering Iran and Warg is wrong here as well in claiming that the ancient Iranians were Nordics and uh, they were Nordics up until the rise of the Arabs and the rise of Islam. This is not true. All phenotypic evidence has proven that this is not true. Here are just a few phenotypic rep representations of Iranians from the Achaemenid period as well as the Sassanid period and you can clearly see that Iranians clearly harbored a clear uh, Iranian phenotype and not a Nordic or European phenotype. This is evident from all the busts and all the depictions of the ancient Iranians. You know some of these depictions depict people with blonde hair and blue eyes well the, the interesting thing is that even these uh, Iranics were not Nordics or Europeans. They were like the contemporary Yagnobi people who do have blonde hair and blue eyes, uh, but they do not cluster with Europeans. Rather, on principal component analyses, they cluster closest to the uh, Eastern Iranics of today, so the Tajiks notably. And uh, the early Iranian sample also clustered with this, uh, with the Yagnobi people, proving that the early Iranians or the Aryans were not Nordics or Europeans, as is falsely asserted by individuals such as Varg V. Kearney, as well as individuals such as Jason Reza, George Ani, and uh, Richard Spencer of the alt right movement, as well as uh, Andrew Anglin, as uh, another, he's another one who claims this false. Uh, 
you know this false notion and uh, actually well rather not complain but but he he continuously spreads this false notion that the Aryans were Nordics. All of these individuals have made this mistake. And Warg, this is an open rebuttal to Warg's constant insistence that Iranians were Arabs in an attempt to claim ancient Iranian civilization and heritage for Europeans. This is what Warg does a lot of the time. He claims ancient Babylonian heritage. He claims ancient Egyptian heritage. And now he's been recently, well not recently, but he has for a very long time stated that the ancient Persians were Nordics and ancient Iranian civilization belongs to the Nordics. He has refused to take a look at the genetic evidence as all genetic evidence has proven there to be 90 to 95 percent genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age. The average Iranian harbors around 50 percent Neolithic Iranian ad related admixture, 15 to 20 percent Calcolithic uh, uh, Anatolian admixture as well as uh, 25 to 30 uh, percent admixture from the early Iranics and uh, aside from this admixture there is minor 5 to 10 percent admixture from Arabs, uh, Mongols and uh, South Asians as well but this is very limited Arab admixture exceeds no more than 5 percent in the average Iranian and uh, this is the absolute limit for the most part with the exception of Iranian uh, Arabs or Sayyids or other individuals with recent Arabian ancestry and Mongol admixture in Iranians does not exceed more than uh, 3 to 7 percent 7 being the highest in Azeris 3 being the lowest in the average Iranian population of course this admixture is present in the Iranian population because of historical reasons but it is extremely 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 limited it does not exceed more than 5 to 10 percent total and the South Asian admixture is only at around 2 to 4 percent on average so again the uh, genetic continuity in Iran is at around 90 to 95 percent since the Iron Age and this has been proven by all uh, genetic evidence from before the arrival of the Aryans to Iran and after their arrival now all we need is Sassanid and ancient Achaemenid era uh, sources uh, rather samples and all of these will prove that Iranians have never been Nordics as why Varg has pre constantly asserted on many occasions and ha as have other white nationalists as well as Jason Reza Georgiani asserted on many occasions and uh, you know this is the truth and many white nationalists needs to realize that uh, Iranian civilization belongs solely to the Iranian people and only to Iranics. Now the situation in ancient Europe may have been different because all evidence has actually proven that the elites of ancient civilizations in Greece and Rome may have had higher step admixture than the natives you know. This was proven by recent sampling from ancient Greece from the Mycenaean period which proved that while the, there were a few individuals who did have higher step admixture than the average uh, uh, Mycenaean and uh, also the Mycenaeans had step admixture whereas the Minoans lacked it and even in ancient Rome while recent ancient Roman samples have not been sequenced not recent but I mean like from the ancient Roman period Lombard samples were sequenced and it was proven that those individuals who belonged to Lombard origins were actually Germanics and clustered with Germanics so it is highly likely that even the ancient Romans were quite different from the contemporary Roman population. This does not apply to Iranians or Iran because Iranians have always been admixed with the native Iranian farmers which uh, European farm, European rather European populations seem to lack for the most part. Only southern Europeans have minor Iranian farmer admixtures specifically Greeks and Italians as well and this Iranian farmer admixture likely made its way to Greece and Rome during the ancient period. Period. But nonetheless, Arab admixture in Iranians is completely zero, and Arab admixture is uh, completely absent from the majority of the Iranian populations that I have tested and I have taken a look at. So that's something to note here as well. And another thing to keep in mind here is that individuals such as Warg only claim Iran's great heritage because they have a sense of uh, inferiority complex. You know, they 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 feel very ashamed about their ancient culture and their ancient history that they feel the need to appropriate the ancient history and culture and civilization of other people then you know 
this is essentially it for this video this is not targeting warg weakness or any of or any of his information rather but it's just to you know it's just to get the message out that warg has the very wrong idea about ancient iranian genetics and the genetics of the iranian people he needs to do a lot more research and he needs to start trusting and taking these uh, genetic studies that we have seen recently uh, seriously because he does not take these study seriously and that's what's causing the problem here and even individuals such as survive the jive has call, have called him out on this as well that's essentially it for this video and please like share and subscribe thank you